Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sam Arjawi. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the deputy governor of Konin of Poland, who is currently visiting the kingdom. His Highness praised the bilateral ties which are experiencing progress and development, noting that he looks forward to further cooperation in sports between the two countries, especially through brave tournaments, which Polish wrestlers participate in. For his part, the Deputy Governor said Poland is keen on enhancing the bilateral ties in all fields, especially sports. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of His Highness in supporting the field of youth and sports based on the vision of the Kingdom's leadership. He wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the outgoing Japanese ambassador, Haidiki Aito, and affirmed the importance of the strategic relations between Bahrain and Japan. His Highness praised the contributions of the Japanese ambassador that helped in enhancing the bilateral relations and coordination between the two countries, wishing him success in his future endeavors. The ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his support and efforts to enhance the bilateral relations. He praised the role of Bahrain in advancing these bilateral relations. The Labour and Social Development Minister, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Hamedan, affirmed that the government headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, focuses on the importance to update education and training outputs, as well as making the education and training system meet the future needs of the labour market. During the Labour Minister's sponsorship of the Virtual Professions Day 2021, organized by the Gulf University with the participation of a number of institutions in the public and private sector, the Minister noted the role of the Supreme Council for Education and Training, headed by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, to oversee the establishment of the educational infrastructure curricula to be in line with the requirements of the labour market. Mr. Hamedan indicated that during the coming period, a specialized platform for employability skills will be launched, which includes integrated data for students and their parents and that clarify actual and future jobs through which the student determines their professional orientations and works to achieve them by choosing the appropriate academic specialization. The Kingdom of Bahrain has ranked first in the Gulf and second in the Arab region in the field of economic participation and opportunities in the annual report of the World Economic Forum in Davos on measuring the gender gap in 156 countries around the world in a new achievement for the Kingdom's jump from third to second place at the Gulf level in the overall index value. The report which monitors gender disparity in four areas, namely education, health, economic opportunities and political empowerment, affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has been able to continue achieving more gains in this area. The report clarified that these results reflect the enhanced level achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields at the Gulf level in the field of economic participation and opportunities. The Kingdom of Bahrain came first in the Gulf, followed by the United Arab Emirates, in addition to the fact that the Kingdom ranked second in the Arab world after the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The Kingdom of Bahrain has also maintained its advanced level in the educational attainment category in which it ranked first internationally in the enrollment in secondary education and total enrollment in higher education indicators. As for health and life quality, Bahrain advanced two ranks globally due to the improvement in the value of the life expectancy index. Commenting on this occasion, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Al-Ansari, stated that the findings of the World Economic Forum Davos 
report confirmed the relevance of the national policies for gender balance in various fields and affirmed the commitment of the state institutions to implement constitutional principles and boost the output of citizens, men and women, equally, and their inclusion in the various development paths. Al-Ansari indicated that the indicators show a clear decline in the performance of most countries of the world following the COVID-19 pandemic and that women were among the groups mostly affected by the pandemic in terms of economic participation. But the results highlight the importance of the measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain to confront the pandemic and limit its repercussions in a way that contributed to maintaining the levels of performance and gains, including the advanced presence of Bahraini women in the fields of economy, work, education and health. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 517,603 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 257,593 had taken the second dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 8,789 with 749 recoveries, 935 registered new cases. 267 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 648 are contacts of active cases and 20 are travel related. The Ministry announced four deaths today and expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urged everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.